This next one we are going to solve for the product again. And hopefully you realize we could use FOIL or we can use this other tool, which some people will call the area model, some teachers will call the box method. Either way, let's go ahead and start with a problem. So I'm going to go with D minus 1 times D plus 2. Okay, the question is the same. We find the product, which means find the product when I take this part and multiply it against this part. And using the box method means I make a nice little box. And we use the box to find the product. You can go D minus 1 on the top and a D plus 2 on the side. Now we're going to multiply the two parts to get them to come in. So that's D squared. And then we're going to multiply these two parts to get them to come in, which would give me a negative 1D. And then we're going to multiply these parts to come up with this space, which would give me a 2D. And lastly, we're going to multiply these parts here to give me a negative 2. I then take all four parts, part 1, part 2, part 3, and part 4, and I write them out in a single string where I get d squared minus 1d plus 2d minus 2. I can now take my inner part and simplify it. So this is the answer. That's a good answer, but I can simplify it by combining this negative 1d and this positive 2d. So I'm going to do that. So I have my d squared out front still. That didn't change, but my negative 1d plus 2d gives me a plus 1d, and then the minus 2 is still there. So this right here would be your actual answer. So now go ahead, a couple of these problems. Here we go. First problem is v minus 7 times v plus 1. Second question is going to be h plus 4 times h minus 4. Third question is going to be b plus 4 times b minus 3. And the last question will be the trickiest, 3m plus 4 times 2m minus 5. Okay, try and make a box for each of those. Hope this helps out. Have a great day.